Hello everyone in YouTube land. Just wanted to bring you up today what I've been doing uh, building a Rostark printer. Show you a few things that I've done to make it a little better. I've uh, used two bearings instead of one on the idler because the belt wants to walk back and forth just a tad. Instead of putting washers on the outside of each bearing, um, the, using a washer will tend to make the belt drag. So putting two bearings, it alleviated the problem. So the bearing, or the belt stays on the bearing. I've also incorporated tensioners on each belt see it better here. Uh, clamp the belt to a bracket and a bracket up here. Put a screw through it where I can uh, apply tension to the belt just by tightening the screw. Also I've made bushings, upper and lower bushings on these rods to where it holds the idler and the base perfectly in place. To where I can put tension on the belt without the plastic parts moving. I built a frame out of plexiglass that uh, makes the whole printer more rigid. So I've done both sides rather than the one side that the Rostock normally incorporates. And then I've built a, a bracket to hold everything out of plexiglass. And printed this to where it holds a fan. Be able to hinge it out of the way to check the wiring or whatever you have to do. <coughs> and then I've used uh, the same bracket to hold the display. And then when I wire the printer up, I'll just come through here and put it inside and wire it up, whatever I need to do. Be able to lift up the fan to put the wiring in. So, I have yet to build a hot end which I want to do is print AB, or not ABS but uh, nylon and Delron and that'll be something that I want to experiment with so that's where I'm at just wanted to show you this thank you for watching please subscribe Jeff Nading on my YouTube channel thank you bye